Bowman here from BW1 and in this video I want to give you my unboxing setup and first impressions of the ThinkPad 8. So the ThinkPad 8 here, and not the most sexiest of boxes, is the Windows-centric business um, tablet that's on from Lenovo here. So let's go ahead and check out the unboxing. Like I said, not the fanciest of packaging as you can see there. But we'll go ahead and slide it open here. All right, pop that out. Let's see what we have inside the box. Cool, slide that out there. All right, slide that out. Let's see what else we have inside of here. Doesn't look like we have much other than, let's actually slide the tablet out of the way first. All right, all right, thanks for an oval descending us along to us. I know this is a bit of a reboxing unboxing, but uh, well, I'll just deal with it. <laughs> so it looks like we have the USB um, char cable right here, USB charger, this is USB 3.0. And looks like you have the wall adapter there. See what else we have inside here, not much of anything else. All right, let's go ahead and put that box to the side here. Let's go ahead and jump into the ThinkPad here itself. All right, there we go. Right, this is pretty cool, nice. Feels pretty comfortable in the hand. Let's go ahead and power this bad boy up. Definitely has that ThinkPad look and feel to it for sure. And that's definitely a brand that's very strong, so I don't blame uh, Lenovo for sticking to that same design language here. I think this is the power button here on the side. Okay, I had to charge it up there a little bit. Um, and when it powered up, I could see it was pretty dead there. So let's go ahead and do a little bit of a hardware tour. Eight inch display, like we said. I have a two megapixel camera there on the front. Um, on the back here, we have an eight megapixel camera, which is pretty cool. Yeah, it is displayed pretty comfortable in the hand. As you can see here, you can hold in some couple of different configurations. You have your Windows button here on the bottom. Brings you obviously to the home screen here. You do have the, looks like this is a, it's like you have your card slot right there, micro SD. This looks like that's your micro SD and possibly a SIM card slot there on the side. Pretty cool. All right, I do believe the one we have here has about 32 gigabytes of storage. You do have the um, um, the my, uh, micro USB port right there. Looks, oh, I'm sorry, mini display port right there. I think that's mini display. Yep. And here on this side is the USB 3.0 charging port. You have your volume and your power button there. Headphone jack there at the bottom. And I think here at the top. All right, let's go ahead and jump right into this bad boy here. Let's see what we have. Pretty cool. It's running full Windows 8. So it's running Windows 8.1 um, Pro on here. It's pretty nice, so you get the full version of it. No, nothing really um, downgraded there. It does come with, like I said, Intel Atom processor with about two gigabytes of RAM. It's a quad-core processor, but it's Intel Atom. All right, let's bring up the storage capacity here. This is dockable. You can get, I believe, a docking station with this as well, too. All right, looks like we have, uh, like I said, 120 gigabytes of storage. Looks like you have about 80 so gigabytes of, um, 89 gigabytes available pretty much from when you first boot it up, so that's pretty cool. Right, bring that back here, hex out of there. So yes, desktop mode. Let's go ahead and hit home here and go into the tablet mode. You see, so you have your Lenovo apps, they have Companion, looks like a couple other ones here. Looks like you have Microsoft Office already preloaded on here as well too. All right, you pay actually have your typical Windows 8 commands. This looks pretty good actually in this, this way. They pretty much look like this. I can look at it right now. It's pretty cool to kind of have here. Well, um, we see, we see, we can set up sign out. We'll actually add our account here in just a second. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and actually do that here. So the way we need to do that, we need to go to settings, bring that up, change PC. Let's add another account. And I'm gonna go ahead and sign in with my my account here. So let's go ahead. I actually go back. So one of the things I do love about um, having a Windows account here is when you sign into another device and you're setting it up, you can choose how you want to have it set up here. So I can actually base this on um, one of my other PCs that I'm signed into. It has a few that I can kind of use this with. So I'm going to base this one off of the Surface, which we just reviewed. And I'm going to go ahead and log into that one. So it's not going to log me in, but it's going to bring those settings over and whatever I've done on there. And it's going to, it's going to base this setup on. Now I can obviously start this fresh if I want to, but it's kind of cool that all of my accounts and apps and everything has a nice synergy to it. So no matter where I sign in, I can get the same exact experience that I would expect from one device to the next device, from a PC, a tablet, to a laptop, to a desktop, running Windows 8, I can get all the same type of experience here. So it's gonna go ahead and set up some apps, set up some things, download some stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and let it do that. And we'll jump right into when we're finished here signing in. All right, everything's set up and syncing right here. As you can see, first thing it does is sync my uh, background, and it also knows that I like to jump right into desktop mode because I have that set up on my desktop, so it jumps me right into here automatically. If 
I head back in to home screen here, you can see it has my settings, my apps, and things that I've downloaded already ready right there for me. You can see my account there at the top, and it, it pretty much has my layout in the way I had it before. It um, looks like it moved the Lenovo apps probably down here to the bottom here. That's fine. I can always add those back here, but it's just nice. I have everything set up and I'm ready to go right away. So um, one of the things I really am, am, I really have noticed here is that I've been holding the tablet like this. I think it's just that Windows 8 makes me hold it this way just by its design. I want to hold it in a landscape view to be able to kind of capture and see everything in the right way. And I feel like interact better with it than when I hold it sort of in this mode which it still feels good to hold like this and it's probably going to be good for reading books and such but it doesn't feel exactly the same way as 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 i had it before when like in sort of this landscape mode right here which feels a little bit better but i'm excited to really put this to the test and um hopefully it'll be a pretty good tablet let us know what you think um any questions comments concerns please ask us about this on the think patty of the know and get your feedback here also be sure to subscribe to our youtube page if you like this video definitely give it a thumbs up a like it definitely helps us out comment like i said before if you have any questions share this along if you think it's going to help someone out if you think this is a pretty cool and awesome video and also be sure to check out our main website at bw1.com check out all of our social networks facebook twitter google plus the link to all of that is in the description and always remember to live your tech world in high definition thanks for watching